this seat of majesty, this throne of kings, our sceptered isle of Britain brings. Range Rovers must look and feel imperious on the road while being able to transport you in luxury in any situation, no matter what surface lies beneath. More than 50 years after its introduction, we now have a breathtaking new model. Yet, is this the ultimate expression of that winning mix of all-terrain ability, haute couture design and sheer opulence? Well, why not join me, Roger Bailey, in what promises to be an indulgence of the highest order. And you join me near the Welsh seaside town of Conway, home to a delightful marina and home to this very agreeable car dealership, Wybrook Land Rover Conway. There's such lovely people here at Conway Land Rover, nothing's too much trouble. There was a time in history when the British made shoddily assembled but often cleverly engineered cars. Today though, luxury car rivals don't even get close as we greet the arrival of a new Range Rover, the world's best luxury SUV. We knew it was going to be delightful in here of course. What is a surprise is to find that the quality of everything is a big step on from the old car. Signalling the extent of the contrivances Land Rover now offer on their flagship car are things like powered doors with proximity detection, variable bandwidth air spring suspension and, well, there's more. It must have been artisans who created these discreet vertical rear lights. This imperious yet tasteful front grille, slick side details and this new smoother uncluttered appearance with tight new lines hiding what could only be described as a revelation that lies beneath the skin. Engine wise there are a couple of carryover diesels however all new are the assortment of mild hybrids plus this range topping twin turbo BMW source P30 petrol motor. So let's be clear, this is a whole new platform brimming with new mechanicals, technology and software. New technology such as the bright joyous infotainment system and driver display and looking further it's clear to see this is a cabin of richness. Made more special by the Special Vehicles Options List, which offers up scope for infinite individualization in a way that rivals those prestigious cars from Cruise Mulder Department just down the road. The aesthetic is restrained, though never feeling anything less than welcoming, thanks to the artfully chosen materials and the abundance of light and space. The added length making for decent accommodation for both front and second row occupants alike. And so it's back to the front seat to find out whether a brisk drive is one to enjoy or perhaps to endure. So what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is traditionally on swerving roads, older Range Rovers rewarded enthusiastic driving with vagueness and wallow. Here though, it seems wizardry has occurred. You see the steering is ideally weighted and has precision that effectively shrinks the car. Body roll through the corners is well controlled, particularly in dynamic mode setting and holding a line with its physics defying combination of electronic anti-roll control, torque vectoring and intelligent all wheel drive is far from an endurance. And yes, there is no escaping the fact that this is a heavy car. It's over two and a half tons, but modern suspension, modern tires, they take care of all of this. And if you want to go barnstorming down a British B road, you can do it like this. Uh, oh, thank you for warning me that we're approaching average speed cameras. Clever car. I think where this car's moved on from the previous generation is not just ride comfort, it's steering response and suspension control. 
And did I mention that standard across the range is rear wheel steering, which not only helps to create B-road nimbleness, it also dramatically improves the turning circle, giving us V8 500 standard of car park maneuverability. Plus, on a motorway or an A-road, all-wheel steer makes switching lanes an efficient sidestep. So the big Range Rover is in its element here on this big A road. It's absolutely magic carpet ride stuff, but I think we need to take this somewhere else and I've got an idea where we should go. So, well, I think it's time we dive straight in and straight out along a convenient rally stage, which I've just come across like you do here in North Wales. A few taps on the PD Pro system in the Range Rover's transformed with the air suspension able to boost plan clearance just as the Terrain Response 2 software sets up for whatever hostile surface you'll find yourself upon. Loose gravel tracks and rocky trails barely scratch the surface of our car's ability, as does a steep gravelly climb and a treacherous descent. A combination of the diff locks, clever traction control and impressive suspension travel gives amazing traction no matter what we get up to out here. Even on road tyres, while the surround view cameras and four wheel steer make even the tightest spots surprisingly stress free. So it is clear this new Range Rover has taken great strides over the outgoing car itself, no slouch. Easier on the eye inside and out, this new car sits in its place in the world with domineering confidence. Yes, some may handle better, but few if any are as comfortable, capable or quite so rounded. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new SUV luxury car benchmark. This is a hugely confident car and a mighty achievement. Cleverly conceived, intelligently engineered and breathtakingly well designed. More than ever, the Range Rover can legitimately claim to be the definitive luxury car. More than just a car, in fact, I believe we have discovered this to be one of the definitive luxury experiences of any kind. I hope you've enjoyed joining me today. If you did, please click the little like button and subscribe if you haven't already and please feel free to leave me a comment i read every single one and i'll reply to most and if you hit this little notification bell i'll let you know when i've posted the next video